Evan Middleton picked a pretty special name for her baby girl. Kate Middleton's younger sister and her husband, James Matthews, welcomed their third kiddo this summer, and they named their newborn daughter Rose, according to People. Not only is the name totally fitting for a sweet little girl, but it also has a connection to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's one-year-old daughter. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex named their daughter Lilibet after Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, but typically call her Lily, just like the flower. Heather and James Matthews, who wed back in 2017, are already proud parents to three-year-old son Arthur and one-year-old daughter Grace. Just last month, Pippa showed off her baby bump while at the party at the Palace concert in honor of Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. At the time, she donned a lime groom dress while attending the special event alongside her parents, Carol and Michael Middleton. The baby girl marks the sixth grandchild for Carol and Michael. And of course, the new addition also means Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis gained another cousin. And Kate Middleton and Prince William have a new niece. The family's new addition comes as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge continue to take on more prominent royal outings. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how the two are preparing to lead the monarchy one day. William are really kind of stepping up to the plate as far as leading the monarchy. Now, William is not the next in line to the throne. His father, Prince Charles, is going to be the next monarch in the United Kingdom. However, William and Kate are very much already in that kind of waiting in the wings role where they are both very much aware that they will be on the throne probably, you know, not too far in the future. I think they both know that Prince Charles is not a young spring chicken. He's not the age that Elizabeth was when she became queen. And I don't think anyone is expecting Prince Charles to sit on the throne for decades and decades to come. He will absolutely take on the role because he has been waiting his entire life to become king. But I think that his reign, in comparison with the Queen's, will be very short-lived. William and Kate are already not acting as though they are already the leaders of the monarchy, but they are taking on a huge amount of responsibility, not just in terms of public engagements, but also in terms of the way in which the monarchy is run. They're making small but very important changes, opening up the monarchy to a more modern point of view, not perhaps in a way that is noticeable every single day, but bit by bit, they have kind of helped the monarchy to evolve, to kind of embrace new traditions, and to kind of maintain the important heritage of the past, while also kind of saying, okay, a few of the things that we used to do are seen as being very stuffy. They are very stuffy. Here are ways where we can kind of maintain the tradition behind these things without making it appear as though we are completely ignorant to what the rest of the world is doing and how they're living.